Six things narcissists do when you go no contact. There are certain things that narcissists will do when you go no contact. But it's still something that I recommend. They will make it difficult for you, but it is the right thing for you to do. Because otherwise they will take over your life. They will establish complete control over you. And you will have no life of your own. Because they came into your life to rob you of everything you have. They came into your life only to take from you. To be you. While devaluing you and putting you down. Which is why you have to go no contact. You have to preserve everything that makes you who you are. But when you do this, there are certain things that the narcissist will do. One, they will go back to the love bombing phase. When the narcissist first targeted you, they love bombed you. Because that's what pulls you in. That's what secures you. So they go back to that again. Because they're assuming that it's going to keep you around since that's what got you with them in the first place. So they will try to rekindle the relationship. They will try to make you have feelings that you had in the past. They will try to charm you again. They will do whatever worked for them before. They will hoover you. They will call you on the phone. They will message you on social media and then they will try to pull you back in. Two, they will stalk and harass you. If the love bombing doesn't work, they will become very obsessive. The messages and phone calls will become more persistent and they will become more pervasive. They will show up at your work. They will show up at your home. They will be talking to your family and friends behind your back. But somehow you will hear about it. And it will feel like you just can't get away from them. As though they have enmeshed themselves in every part of your life. Three, they will start a smear campaign. They will talk about you to other people. They will smear your name. They will assassinate your character. They will say horrible things about you. They will make false accusations. They will spread rumors. They will discredit you because they want to prevent your occurrence. They want to remove you from consideration. They want to deny you access to a place, group or privilege. They want to isolate you. They want to punish you for going no contact with them. So they want you to feel like they're doing better without you. And you're making a big mistake. So you're the one who has to pay the price for your decision. Because now everyone is going to be against you. Everyone is going to think you're crazy. 
Everyone is going to think you're bad or you're the narcissist. It's divide and conquer. They make people disagree with you so that you will not join together against them. It's how they maintain their control over you. Narcissistic Rage When you go no contact with a narcissist, it will cause a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage. They will be very angry. They will try to force you to do what they want. They will make excessive demands. They will try to control you because they're trying to intimidate you. They're trying to punish you. They're stunted at the emotional development of a two-year-old child. So when you go no contact, they will throw a temper tantrum and it's because they can't get what they want. So they will be angry. Because they know you're slipping away. They know they're losing control of you. So this is how you know that they're losing their grip. And this is when things will start to get better for you. Because narcissists are at their worst just before they give up. Five. They give up. Eventually the narcissist will give up. They won't know what to do. They won't know what to think about the situation. They will no longer be able to uphold their grandiose covenant image. So they will withdraw. Because they have a very fragile ego. They see the world as a place where they have to survive. So they're constantly in survival mode. But sometimes they just give up. They stop trying. And when that happens, you won't hear from them because they don't want you to know about it. They don't want you to see it. They don't want you to have the last laugh. So they stay ghost. They stay hidden. Six, new supply. At some point they're going to look for new supply. They can't live without it. It sustains them. But it won't always be a relationship partner. It could be a friend or family member. Someone they're using as their emotional tampon. Someone that they can vent to. Because they have all of this emotional baggage. And it's too much for them to carry. And you're not willing to hear about it anymore. So they have no choice but to find someone else. Someone who is going to listen to all of their problems. Someone who is going to believe all of their lies. That's the only way that they can feel sane. They need people to validate the illusions of their false self.
Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.